So if we could, let's go back to the self-publish versus traditional publishing question again for a moment. And um, what circumstances would you say would drive an author to go one way or the other? That's, that's a good question. Okay, here is what traditional publishers are often looking for when they make an acquisition. Um, they want to know if the craft of the writing, the storytelling is excellent. The crowd refers to the audience. What level, what size of an audience do you as an author bring on your own? Um, and the concept is the, the big idea behind the book. So you have craft, crowd, and concept, these three C's of acquisitions. And an acquisitions editor might say, as an author, we expect you to have two of those three elements. Um, you can have a book that's not really well written, but if you have a great crowd and you have a great concept, they will put the writers and editors on your team to make that book. A high craft. If you're, say, a novelist and you have no audience, you don't even have a social media platform yet, but you have written this astonishing piece of art um, that's got a fantastic idea behind it, they'll acquire the book and help you build your platform. So two of those three things have to be really strong for you to have a chance of being picked up um, by a traditional publisher. And that's just a good kind of litmus test you can give yourself um, to, to weigh whether you can do that or whether you want to go be self-published. Um, sometimes if you say, well, you know, my, my craft is great and my idea is great, but I have no crowd, you might want to spend some time building your social media platforms and attracting um, your tribe, if you will, before you go out and shop your book. But the, the stronger those three categories are for you, the better chance you have of being picked up by a traditional house. And if they're weak, if two or three of those areas are weak, you can expect um, to not get very much attention.